thing. During the last ice age uh, in Montana, as the glaciers would melt, form these huge seas of water, and the um, and as the, as it melted, that water would come cascading across the United States, and uh, that's what formed this this gorge. It was as high as that Vista House over there. 500 feet was the highest point. Moving. So we are at a gorge outside Portland. We are taking a day tour to Mount Hood. This is the Columbia River, which we just learned is the second longest river in the United States. Beautiful. All right, we're going to take off to pretty much the same gorge from down there. <laughs> So this is another stop. And there again is the Columbia River Gorge. Just a beautiful area. And there is the Vista House, which is going to be one of the more scenically located restroom stops I've ever been to. And pretty elaborate looking for a rest stop. Um, just a really beautiful area. Now we are at the top of the Vista House. And there's no one looking awfully happy here. And just a really beautiful view. I'm impressed with the view here. It's amazing, this building actually has a lot more than just a restroom. It's a gallery, and gift shop, and cafe, all sorts of things. It just keeps going down, down. We are now actually at the top. Very panoramic view. I actually believe we went by this all on the Amtrak train coming into Portland. But being on a train, it's hard to appreciate as much the view as when you're up here. And this is the inside of the Vista House when you first walk in. So I'm thinking this would be this a is really a great place mom will move here when she yes. gets married at 90. Yeah, when I get married again at 90, I think I'm going to get married here because it's so beautiful. And there was an engaged couple doing all kinds of romantic photos upstairs. They were so cute. So suddenly I'm thinking, okay, this is an option. We are walking right now to a waterfall. We are walking, hiking along this path. Very pretty here. I must admit, there's a little few spots along the edges that make me a little nervous. <laughs> but it's very pretty here. So here's that first waterfall. Very cool indeed. That's cool. Now we are a little closer. It's beautiful. Very breezy, very misty. What we have learned today is the Columbia River Board has the most waterfalls in anywhere in the world. I think you said there were over 80. Cool. I don't think you could be visiting over 80 today, though. visiting our third waterfall. I don't know if it will show up. It goes extremely high up. Very cool. stopping in another falls that has a very cute, they call it a lodge, but nobody actually stays here, but they do have a restaurant, a lounge, and a gift shop, and we were checking that out. And it is the second long, wait, second highest year-round waterfall in the United States, the tallest one being in Washington State. So judging from the size of the gift shop and the number of souvenirs, yeah. but this falls on it and bridge. This must be the most famous of the fall, or the most popular, or just the most tour buses go here. But it is beautiful. <laughs> Very pretty. No 
bring you up watching my shoes. now getting to that bridge that we were looking at from below. So we did our little hike up here. And one thing I can say is I'm not feeling guilty anymore about that peach muffin I threw in at breakfast today. I think it worked out. And there it is. The calories season you burned off. A lot. <laughs> Fortunately it stopped raining. Beautiful up here. Very beautiful. And here we are, we're on the bridge and when we turn, you can actually hike up. You can go almost seven more miles up if you'd like. And there is the falls. And then get on this side. And it's, uh, it's definitely misty. It reminds me of my visit to Niagara Falls. Okay, this is our last falls of the day. Of course, Falls. Here we are.